our floor. We like to get different angles of our sofa. Because Coral can never get enough. No, it's because I can just can't find the perfect place to put the camera in this house. Because it's such a small house, Coral. We can't get enough. And I don't place. like the wallpaper, and you know, we can't do anything about that. It's not wallpaper. It's just the wall. The wall. <laughs> don't like the wall. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what are we going to do today? Well, we thought we haven't done anything to do with like Italian in a while, and mm. me speaking Italian. Ooh. So. We're gonna speak some Italian. So Coral wants to know some well, Italian. Yeah, Ricardo's gonna teach me some like funny phrases uh -huh. in Italian. So they're gonna be funny and they're very useful in Italy. Yeah? Yeah. Oh good. Okay. I wonder if I've heard of them before. Never. No? I'm sure never. The first thing I thought for you is I voluto la bicicletta adesso pedali. Huh? I roto la bicicletta. Uh, hai rotto la bicicletta. Uh, that's what it sounds like you said. <laughs> Ho detto, hai voluto la bicicletta? Adesso pedali. Hai voluto la bicicletta? Adesso pedali. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Hai voluto... You wanted the bike? Now you ride it. You know what that means? No. It's like if you made a bad or poor choice. It's kind of like I told you so, but okay. it's it's more like it's, it's a bit better. It's a right. bit like... It Funny, fills yeah. you, it fills you up. No, it fills you up. Yeah, like, uh, it actually satisfies you because if you say, I told you so, it's just like, you know, that brief moment. It's but annoying. It's, yeah, it's also annoying. But if yeah. you say, you wanted a bike, now you ride it. Like, you made a poor choice, now you live with it. That doesn't what, mean. What, how do you say it again? I have voluto la bicicletta. I have voluto la bicicletta. I have voluto la bicicletta. And I so pedali. <laughs> that sounds good. Well done. Well said. <laughs> Nailed it. Bing. That's not really sound like a hammer, does it? Bing. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> What's a hammer? What a hammer noise make? Bing. <laughs> that sounds like a spring, like a cartoon <laughs> spring. <laughs> I don't know. Bing. What is <laughs> that? <Stop> it. <laughs> that is a horse. <laughs> okay, another phrase that is really important. The next phrase is braccia rubate all'agricoltura. Braccia. Braccia al bate al... Rubat. Ru... Bacia ru... Braccia. Oh, bra... What? <laughs> Say again. Braccia rubate all'agricoltura. Braccia al rubato... Rubate. Seems like slower. Braccia rubate all'agricoltura. All'agricoltura. <laughs> Sounds like a tone twister. It is a bit. <laughs> Braccia rubate all'agricoltura. Braccia braccia all'agricoltura. <laughs> Because there's so many, so many R's like going on in there. Braccia rubate Braccia rubate all'agricoltura. All'agricoltura. I don't know what any of that means. <laughs> Hug the thief. <laughs> no. Bra braccio. Is that not what you're saying? Braccia, arms. Braccia, oh, arms. Rubate, stolen. Okay. From the agriculture. The thief. From the agriculture. It means like from farms, you know, like. So it's like if someone is studying a really important thing and is really intellectual thing and is really hard and everything, but they're really bad at it, you say your arms were stolen from the agriculture, from the farms, because instead of studying, you could be there helping out. It's you get rude, it? isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of rude. That's but, really rude. But it's kind of like fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, rude. People say it all the time. I think if somebody would say that to me, I'd be like, wow, not your friend anymore, if I was. My dad no, used to not. tell me that all the time. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. It's probably just still friends with him. <laughs> it's my dad. <laughs> it's my dad. You cannot be friends with parents. <laughs> non avere peli sulla lingua. Non avere peli sulla lingua. Yes! You don't have skin on your tongue. No. Hair on your tongue. Non avere peli sulla lingua. It literally oh, no, means... Oh, peli. I thought... Yeah. Peli. Is that short for hair then? Not pelle. Peli. 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 There's a um, hair. Oh, like uh, arm hair is yeah. pelly. Oh, I didn't know that. Pelly. So that means that you don't have hair on your tongue, which means that you're honest and super clear with everyone. So there's not anything that you're trying to not say, but you want to say it, but you know, like people try not to say things. No, I don't know. Even don't people, know. people, very, very bold people, that's what they are. Someone that doesn't have hair on their tongue is someone very bold. Someone that just tells you straight away what it is without going too much around it. Oh, okay. That makes sense? Yes. 
How do you say it? No, I can't remember. Non avere peli sulla lingua. Non avere peli sulla lingua. Perfect. Next one is my favorite. Saltare di palo in frasca. Saltare di palo in frasca. Mmm, nice. I don't really know how to say frasca in English. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Saltare Any di palo. Any of it. Not even a word. Saltare. Saltare. Is that jump? Yeah. Oh, Ricardo put it into translating. It's come up as jump steak in frascati. frascati. So what it literally means is to jump from one topic to another. So going from another tangent. Does that make sense? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's saltare di palo in frasca. It means you just keep changing subject without and it just doesn't a make good any connection. Sense. Yeah. Exactly. And you just like, wanted to shut up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense? Yeah. That makes sense. How do you say it? Saltare in palo la frasca. <laughs> Saltare di palo in frasca. Saltare di palo in frasca. <laughs> nice. I'm on I like fire! It. Next one is avere la botte piena e la moglie ubriaca. I've forgotten already. Avere la botte piena e la moglie ubriaca. Why do you keep saying it so fast? I'm like, I've forgotten what it's saying. Oh, let me just say the whole sentence again. Avere la botte piena. Avere la botte piena. E la moglie ubriaca. E la moglie ubriaca. Avere. La botte piena. La botte, what's botte? It's the wine cask. Wine cask? Yeah, the cask. What's the cask? You know, the flask. The whole. Flask. Oh, the barrel? Yeah, the barrel. Okay. <laughs> The wine barrel. The wine barrel. To have the wine barrel full and your wife drunk. Drunk. Do you know? Do you, do you think what it could mean? It means that you can have all the wine. <laughs> it means like you want the wine, but you also want the wife to be drunk. But at the same time, you can't have both. You need to have one or the other. You know, you need to make a choice. You right. either have the barrel full of wine, right. but your wife is not drunk. Or you get your wife drunk, but you don't have your barrel full. Why would you want your wife to be drunk then? Because it's easier to get her to do whatever you want. Oh, right. <laughs> it's just a funny, That's nice. It's just a funny thing. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So, do you get what it kind of means? Yes, yes, yes. What would it be like a similar thing in English? I don't think there is one. Yeah, there is. Is there? Yeah. What is it? To eat a cake and have it. Oh, okay. You can't have a cake and... And well, if you want to have a cake, you don't eat it, but you can't eat and have a cake at the same time. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit complicated, but <laughs> that's what it is. Avere le braccia corte. I think I've heard this one before. Avere yeah, because that's you. Corte. To. Why do you like, have your. You can't reach something? No. Is that out of your reach? No. To have short arms. Yes, that's what it means. No, yeah, to no, have no, short but arms. like the literal mean that I'm going for, like what it actually means. Imagine if I was if I was asking you to buy me an ice cream, okay? Yeah. But you've got short arms. How can you reach your pockets to get the money? That's not what it means. That's what it means. It doesn't literally mean to have short arms. Yes, if you have short arms, you can't reach your pockets, you can't get the money, yeah, I'm sorry. No, hardly anybody's got short arms, what stupid saying is that? <laughs> doesn't matter. It's like, if anyone has hair on their tongue, do, does anyone have it? So it's a saying to say that that person is tight. Yes, that's what it that's is. That's what I was trying to look for and you kept telling me the literal thing of like somebody with short arms. <laughs> I know, but I was giving you the example. No! Can you, can you pay for something for someone if you can't even reach your pockets? That's... forget what Ricardo said. <laughs> it's a funny way. Avere le braccia corte. Avere le braccia corte, yes, that's okay. you. Meaning to have short arm, this funny Italian phrase is used to describe someone as cheap. In other words, the person's arms are too short to even reach for his or her wallet. In bocca al lupo. In bocca al lupo. Oh, you knew it that. I know it. Okay, but what does that I mean? I don't know. People always say it and then I think I always said thank you because I know it's like a good luck kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. um, and I always said thank you, but apparently you don't say thank you. No, you don't. So. So, but it's like, what do you say? What does it's it head. No, what does it literally mean? Oh, yeah, basically, in the mouth of the wolf, yeah. Yeah, you don't want that though, do you? No. Okay, so what do you say? Crepe. Crepe means I wish it died. <laughs> I, mean, I wish for the wolf to die so that it doesn't, you don't get into that mouth. But what's stupid saying? Well, you got to break your leg. Why would I break my leg? <laughs> 
That's true. <laughs> what the heck? I'm going on a stage. I'm trying something really cool. Is my future? Break your leg. Why would I break my leg? Yeah. <laughs> they are a bit stupid, aren't they, really? <laughs> yes. But why would you say that to somebody when, like, just... <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Doesn't have to. Essere al verde. Essere al verde. Sono al verde. 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 I don't like that word. Hate that word. <laughs> what does it mean? I don't know. To be green. To is be it in to be, green. To be in green. Mm -hmm. Is it be like very one with the nature? No. To be without money. Oh, right. Okay. It's basically connected to bank accounts because right. when you're in green, it means like you're under budget. You don't have the money anymore. But it's weird because lately, obviously, everything when you're changed. When you green, no, but when you're red. Exactly, everything changed, and now everything is red when you're under. I was going to say, it doesn't make budget. any sense now, really, does it? Yeah. <laughs> well, times have changed, but before it was in green. Okay. Sono al rosso, invece che sono al verde. You're looking but up like the sun is green. <laughs> it doesn't really make any sense to say it's on our rosso. There are some phrases that I have now learned. Ricardo's going to test me during the week to see if I've got them right. <laughs> They're funny at least and we hope that you had fun throughout this video and you had a laugh seeing Coral struggling with those words. Is that just odd? Especially in Boca Lupo. They're really weird. Is that how you say it? In Boca Lupo. In Boca Lupo. In Boca Lupo. Mm -hmm. It just makes no sense. Well, but maybe you have like some weird legs, things. So. Yeah. Maybe you have some weird things that so you do. ditch me next time. Huh? Although you probably know them, so. Yeah, so there's no point. <laughs> <laughs> then it wouldn't be fun. Cheetah. We'll see you on our next video. Don't forget to check out all of our videos. Subscribe, like, comment, and share it with your friends. And we'll see you next time. See you next time, guys. And don't oh, forget oh. our lives. <sighs> because we need to make lives. We forgot <sighs> this week. Until next week. Thank you.